Have you ever started a hardcore world but always struggle in the beginning stages of the game? If this sounds like you, this video is perfect for you. I'm going to show you guys how to survive in hardcore Minecraft. Here we go guys, a brand new series which I promised you all ages ago is finally coming to the channel. Every single one of you, well near enough, <laughs> wanted to know how I survived or at least did the beginning stages in my hardcore Minecraft world and this is the series that's going to teach you all about it. So as you can see, no seed inputted, let's jump straight into this. Okay, let's take a look at our surroundings here. Forest, nice, there's a plains biome just out that way. Um, so this first episode is going to be how you survive your first night. That is going to be the focus of this video. Um, one thing I'd recommend you do, as every single hardcore world should start, or every single Minecraft world, should be, of course, getting the basic wood. I'm going to craft these into planks. I'm going to make some sticks, make a crafting table, and then we're going to make ourselves a pickaxe because I can see just below me, there's a cave right there where we can get some easy stone for some tools. So for those that want to actually play along with me, here is the seed. This is the only command that I believe is enabled uh, on the world. So I'll, I'll leave this in the description for you guys to copy. And yeah, you guys can play along with me. Please don't spoil any locations like mob spawners or villages or anything. I just want to be able to play this along with you guys. Just, yeah, no spoilers, please. All right, now jumping back up to the top, we're going to make our basic tools, uh, which I shouldn't do that actually straight away. So we'll go bang. I always do that every time. <laughs> Wait, I've just crafted two shovels. Don't do that. <laughs> Bad start. Now we're going to make ourselves... That's wood. <laughs> we're going to make ourselves an axe. <laughs> My brain just isn't working. Okay, so the reason why I haven't crafted a sword, here's going to be my first tip for you guys, is axes in the beginning start of the game are going to be way more beneficial because they, for example, those mobs over there, they can actually kill mobs much faster. You can actually one-hit mobs um, or passive mobs. So, like, getting food is going to be really easy at the start of the game. And this is a very interesting seed, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping to find a village off the start, but looks like we're going to have to do some climbing. Okay, so the benefit to having this here is you can actually see any exposed ores. So I'm going to have a look at getting some coal and potentially some iron because it is very important that you craft a shield as soon as you possibly can. But uh, first protocol is having a look, see if I can spawn any iron. I don't want to go into a cave just yet. I'm going to get a few pieces of coal and that should hopefully do it. And look at that, we have copper off the rip. Can you mine this with stone? You can, perfect. That will do us. This is our first bit of copper on a single player world. I've got some on a server, but never, never got them on a single player world just yet. Um, but I am actually hoping to find some iron now. I know they've changed ore distribution since, and I'm not entirely sure how it all works now, but um, yeah, I think my main protocol right now is to try and get some iron if possible, or try and find a village. Either one will do. And while I'm running around, it's going to be very important to try and get some sheep because I am going to need to craft a bed at some point in order for me to skip the night. Because worst comes to worst, if I don't find a village, which this is going to look like it's going to take me a while, then at least I can just dig underground and build myself a little spot. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to sleep in there for the night. You know what I think we should do really, really quick? I think we should go ahead and make a furnace and I think we should get some of this smelting because, like, we're, we're not even halfway, we're about halfway through the day. Which should be enough time to just quickly get some of this smelted. And, uh, yeah, we are losing hunger pretty quickly, which is uh, never a good thing. But there is always ways to combat this. Because, obviously, I need to find a village. And that will provide me good sources of food with the hay bales where I can craft a load of bread. And hopefully I should be able to get some iron from an iron golem or, you know, in one of the loot chests in the village. So, yeah, quite looking forward to that. You need to try, and this is if you can help it, to stay away from caves before you have a shield. Because, like, if you don't have a shield and you go into the caves, you're just asking to be killed. Uh, it's never a good thing for a hardcore world. Oh, perfect. Look what we've got here. White sheep. Nice, I can make myself a bed. And just like this, we have a way to skip the night. <laughs> Easy as that. So one question that I got asked a lot in the comments of my 100 days video is how did I get a lot of food at the start? And it was literally just running around the seed doing this. That's literally all I did. And you get quite a decent amount for doing this. Okay, that's getting a little bit concerning at the moment. The sun is just coming down, actually. I found a village, but it doesn't look like to be a... Oh, hang on. 
Is this a decent village? I hope so. I think that was perfect timing if I ever saw perfect timing ever. We found a village just as the sun was starting to set. So this is going to be a perfect opportunity, not only for crashing the night and having a little bit of shelter, but also for maybe trying to find an iron golem where I can try and get some iron ingots from it in order to make a shield. Perfect opportunity. Let's build up three high and let's go for some crit hits. And there we go. That is how you get iron without entering a cave. Oh, there's some melons here too. This is nice. I don't think I've ever seen melons spot. There's a desert temple there too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen melons spawn in a village before. I didn't know that was a thing, but yeah, I'll take it. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure I've got enough food is I'm going to craft myself a stone hoe. And then we got, I sh kind of should uh, actually, yeah, I don't have enough stone for that. I'm going to make myself a new axe because that's going to be needed. And I think we should skip the night. I think we can sleep. Sorry, baby villager. This is my bed. <laughs> there we go. That is how you survive the first night in hardcore Minecraft. Okay, we're not done here yet though because I need to make myself a fresh axe because that will be handy. And I'm also going to make myself a sword because when I get into those caves, I'm going to get into some faster combat. So I'm going to need something that can attack faster, even though it might be less damage. Because look, if you look here, nine attack damage, 0 0.8 attack speed. Whereas this is five attack damage, but 1.6 attack speed. So it's double the speed of the axe. So yeah, that's definitely going to be needed when we enter the cave. So at this moment, I think we're pretty much ready to enter the caves. Although I want to make sure of one thing. I want to make sure my food is cooked because the worst thing you can do is enter a cave with very little food because if you get hit, you cannot regenerate health and then you're practically stuck down there. And yeah, it's just never a good situation to be and you're most likely going to die. And this is perfect. There is multiple cave entrances here right next to this village. Like I could not have asked for a better seed. The coordinates, by the way, oh, I didn't mean to do that. The coordinates are there for those that are playing along and playing on the same seed as me. So yeah, um, this is going to be where we're starting out. So I think it's time to get the furnace on the go. Let's get some of that going while I go and get the rest of this hay bale and make some bread. One thing that you always need to take down into the cave with you is going to be torches. So whatever coal that's left in that furnace once I'm done, and the coal that I'm collecting here is going to be turned into torches because otherwise I'm not going to be able to see and more mobs could spawn. Right, so I think we're at this stage now where we can turn all of this, as much of it as I can, into bread because that is going to help us in the cave. So there's one stack and 21. How many are we going to get? We're going to get tons of bread. I don't even think it's worth crafting at this point, you know? I might just leave it. Um... Yeah, let's just make whatever we get here. Nearly two stacks, and we've got loads of other food as well. We're just, we're more than prepared now. But time to clear our inventory. We're going to get rid of that, that, that. Probably keep the leather, because that will be useful for making books. Get rid of those, and get rid of that, that. <laughs> yeah, just clearing a bunch of junk that I just do not need. And while we wait for that, we always must go cave in with wood, because if I run out of torches and I need to make some sticks, chances are I'll mine some coal, but then I won't have any sticks to craft into torches. So this is why you always go down to the caves with at least a bit of wood. And look at that. Some iron down there waiting for me already. There's actually quite a fair bit down there, which is decent. Um, I'm just going to dig this out just a little bit just to see what is actually down there. Because if I spot a skeleton or a zombie, yeah, I might have to deal with them first. But one thing we haven't yet prepared is the main thing of them all, which I don't think I have the materials for at the moment. So I'm just going to do that. And then where is it in here? A shield. This is exactly what we need. I was going to stick that in the torches in my offhand, but there's no point. The shield is much more better on hardcore. And with that being said, it's now time to get into the cave. All right, look at that. First bit of iron. I've not even stepped foot in a cave yet, and we are already getting ourselves some raw iron, which uh, is obviously a new addition to 1.17, which I quite like because you can actually fortune these ores now, which is uh, quite useful, actually. And there's some more down here, but I'm also going to light up this cave just a little bit. And is there any mobs that I'm going to have to deal with at the moment? I don't... Yeah, there's a zombie right there, but we can deal with these guys dead easy because he can't even jump down to us. And there we go, the monster hunter achievement. And is that creeper going to come down for some as well? Of course he is. 
There we go. Dealt with him like a boss. So my goal before I go for diamonds is I really want to get full iron armor. That's going to be key here, I think, because... And obviously tools. Um, because obviously, for one, we can't mine the diamond ore without an iron pickaxe. But second of all, you can never be too safe in hardcore. So I want to get as prepped up as I can. And with that being said, it is nighttime already. We have enough iron that we can smelt, so that's going to be quite useful. Um, okay, this house does not have a bed for some weird reason. So we're going to lay our own down and we're going to crash here for the night. Excuse me. That's my bed. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so one thing that I'm going to need to do now, and I have the iron for it. Did I get five iron ingots from that um, iron golem before? That's crazy. That's the max you can get, I'm pretty sure. But there we go. Iron pickaxe at the ready. Um, yeah, we're just going to go straight back down. I might mine a little bit of wood first because I do not want to run out. That is the worst thing ever to happen in a cave. And I also need to be aware of creepers because they could have spawned while it was dark there. And I wouldn't have known anything about it. So just be wary of your surroundings while you're walking around because the last thing you want to do is come face to face with a creeper at the very start of this world. All right, back into the caves we go. We're going to ditch the stone pickaxe as we now have an iron one and we're going to take a trip down this cave, which doesn't seem to be leading to much. What about that, that room that I found before? Is that not down here? Okay, this is a dead end. In fact, you know what might be useful? If I take down this desert temple right now, Imagine if there's an enchanted golden apple at the start. Just just imagine that possibility. Should we should we check it? You know what? I'm not I'm gonna do this without no cuts whatsoever. No mobs in here. Okay, we're good. Um so yeah, let's go straight down. I'm gonna block that up to save creepers jumping down. Oh, I was gonna just light it up anyway, but yeah, sure, we'll do that. Uh without activating the stone pressure plate. We're good. We are golden. Dude, what did we get? Any enchanted golden apple? No, we got a golden apple, which I will take, uh, which I am going to ditch for our saplings. Uh, what else did we get? Iron. We'll take some more of that. We'll take some more iron over there. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave the rest of that. Except the TNT, because who doesn't take TNT from one of these places? All right, so I want to jump down here. So I'm going to mine down this bit, which hopefully should take me down safely. And it doesn't seem to be much of a cave system, although there is a decent bit of iron down here. What I'm going to do while I'm down here is get this iron smelting because we should, hopefully, have near enough... Oh, I didn't put the coal in. <laughs> we should, hopefully, have near enough for some iron armor. Or at least full set of iron armor. That would be pretty cool to get that at the start, wouldn't it? What is down here, then? Is this any cave system? Okay, this does lead to... A, oh, I see a light source. Is that lava? Okay, there's glow ink sack already, which is decent. I like the sound of that. And there is even more right here, which I've got to be careful. Because if there's mobs down here, I don't want to be getting caught in this water stream right here. But uh, yeah, any iron, actually, I might just stay down here for a bit of extra iron. Okay, nope. All I'm seeing is copper, which I thought was rarer. Here we go. Okay, so I'm seeing daylight again. Is this like a massive circle that I'm in or something? It's close enough. Or is it? Because I can hear lava. Hold on. Oh, here we go. What's this? We are in a cave system, but I am going to go back. How did I not see this from the surface? I'm going to go back and I'm going to get my furnace. I'm going to mine the copper on the way, of course. I'm going to get my furnace and I'm going to try and craft as much armor as I can before heading down there. All right. How much iron have we got? We currently got 25. I'm going to prioritize a chest plate and boots, I think, because uh, boots will help me with fall damage and chest plate, I think, does a lot of... Uh, coverage anyway so we're going to prioritize those two things first and then we should have enough for a full set of iron armor would you look at that full set of iron armor already i think this is better than i did originally in my hard in my 100 days in hardcore video so say we're on day two now and it's like yeah we're doing pretty good all right i think it's time actually no i don't i need one more thing we're going to make ourselves an iron sword. Yep. And now it's time to go down to the cave. I've just forgotten a crucial thing. The last thing I'm going to need is a bucket. Because if I go down there and encounter lava, without a water bucket, I've got no way of saving myself. So I'm going to get one piece of that in there. I'm going to get those to smelt. I'm going to make a bucket. And there's a natural water source down there in the wall that I can just pick up. So this is perfect, actually, before entering that cave where the lava is. Let's just let's just be safe rather than sorry. And let's pick up this water source. And that should be 
our entire checklist. So let's just do a quick recap here before we enter this cave. This is one thing you always want to check. Iron armor, check. Shield, check. Uh, iron pickaxe and sword, check. Plenty of food, definitely check. And some wood in order to make more torches, check. Did I say water bucket? I think I did. Uh, crafting table, furnace. I mean, providing you got a crafting table, some wood, iron armor, shield, iron tools, you're pretty much set. Now, the big question is, do we start going for diamonds now or do we wait? That is going to be the money question because I'm not entirely sure. Because uh, this bit, I think, is all personal choice. And we have a mob spawner off the rip, which is going to be interesting, to say the least. I want to make sure this place is well lit because my torches are not on my hotbar. Um, that is going down quite far as well, which is which is good news. Okay, there's two skeletons right there, which I'm going to run away from. I'm hoping this is not... A, okay, this is a zombie. So one thing I want you guys to get into the habit of is to go in for critical hits on mobs because they are so much easier to take down. And we should be able to get in here and completely nerf that spawner. We got a CD, which I'm going to leave because it doesn't really play much of an impact into what we're doing with the series. This is more of a how to survive in hardcore. So, yeah, we're going to leave those CDs behind. But otherwise, take them. Do, do as you please. And, uh, yeah, that is a nice find off the rip. Okay, so now it's time to fight these skeletons down here. Now, the best way to fight these is just keep your shield up. That's all you got to do. Keep your shield up. And then get ready to block again. You missed. Block. And then take a couple of strikes. Block. And there you go. You didn't take an ounce of damage there at all. They're not hard to take down. And let's keep going down here. And there's a creeper awaiting my arrival. Nice. And that will do it. Jumped out of the way in time. And it's the dead end. I'm actually going to leave copper behind. Because in the early stages, I don't think... Correct me if I'm wrong. I've not really studied copper. But I don't think it's going to be much use to us at all. Um, do we continue? Is that way a dead end too? I don't recall. I think this is a dead end. Oh no, it's not. We're going straight down. Uh, I take that back. It's a dead end. Alright, so I guess the only way down is going to be via this lava. So always be careful and have your water bucket at the ready. That's all I'm going to say. Because if you fall in this, it's going to give you... It's going to give you a lot of damage or you're going to take a lot of damage should i say uh, so scale your way down if possible like i'm doing right here and you should be okay but if not okay that's a disaster waiting to happen i do not want that to fall um let's try and scale our way down here and uh, see if we can get down to diamond level okay this is telling me that we're at a dead end but i could be completely wrong here because that lava is still going down um i'm hoping this leads to somewhere because if not I've just wasted my time coming down here. Never do that. Never do that. Bad idea. Yeah, this is literally a dead end. Okay, um, well, in this situation, I think we just mine straight down to diamond level, personally. Let's go for a strip mine. Oh, wait. Does this curve round to something here? Am I missing? Oh, hang on. It keeps going. We're in a separate cave by the looks of it. Oh, here we go. Okay, we'll, sc we'll scratch that idea off for now. We'll see where this takes us. But I'm just casually following this down. I should have been lighting that up behind me because mobs can spawn. And there we go. It has disappeared and we are now in a separate cave system. So always watch your back because a creeper could just sneak up on you at any moment. Okay, so right now we don't need too much iron. We need to try and focus on diamonds if we can. Because if we're going to get better gear, we're going to need to upgrade to diamond and then eventually uh, do some enchanting. But yeah, I think iron after this vein right here is probably best to leave it. And we are getting close to needing torches again. Uh, where are we at now? This is a ravine. Okay, facts about ravines here. Or oh, facts about me, should I say. Is my first 100 days attempt, I died to a creeper that fell on me in a ravine. Um, so yeah, just be careful of that because that can happen. And this looks like a ravine. So yeah, just be wary from the tops up there because the last thing you want... Is a creeper to fall on your head. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to block myself off in here. I know it's a bit dark for you guys. I apologize. But I'm going to need to get myself some more torches. In fact, why why am I pulling a crafting table out? My brain's not working today. Uh, just do this. It's easy. I did say avoid ravines if you can help it. That's one thing. I'm just scouting. There's going to be no diamonds down there. So I think we can help that. Let's just keep moving. And this cave is a dead end. I, I swear these caves... 
<laughs> they just keep being dead ends on me. Like, what's going on? Okay, there was one more cave down here, which I think we can use to get down to diamond level, hopefully. I mean, that looks promising, and I can hear lava. I mean, what level are we on at the moment? 28, so we're not actually that far from diamond level at the moment, which is pretty useful. In fact, speaking of diamond level, and an axolotl, <laughs> um, do I want to make another water bucket? That's the question, because I do fancy one of those as a pet, actually. This is turning into a Let's Play series, not... <laughs> Yeah, I apologize, but uh, I really want that axolotl. So we are going to go ahead and make ourselves another bucket. And we're going to go and grab one of those things. Okay, come here, axolotl. I want you. Oh, nice. You're just attacking a glow squid. Interesting. Um, I I will keep the the glow ink sacs on me because they're quite useful. Oh, look at that sneaking up on me. You better not attack my axolotl or I will brain you. <laughs> um, yeah, got to stay away from that. Please do not blow my friend up. That's all I'm asking. Get down there. <laughs> and one more hit. Oh. oh, you took some damage, but I got you. There we go. Our first axolotl, uh, which is quite decent. And I'm just going to try and adventure some of these caves. Okay, get away from me, creeper. Just watch out for these things because these things can be ruthless. The shields, on the other hand, are actually going to help you a lot against creepers. So make sure you are prepared. And look at that. First diamonds of this world already located um yeah they are over a lava source but we can deal with that no problemo that's why you bring a water bucket and look at this our first diamonds are actually deep slate ores interesting and we got four of them look at that perfect that is actually what we needed and i could go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe if i want but i'm actually going to be saving those for another time oh speaking of the devil <laughs> you can't make that up can you that is one of a kind. I will take that. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to check if there's any more. Because I believe they made a change, didn't they, to ore distribution. I could be wrong here, but let me just clarify something. Is there going to be any more? That's the money question. I don't think there is. I think we've got just two right there. But I'll take it. And this is telling me we're near diamond territory, I hope. Um, let me just get my water bucket on and block that off. Are we near more diamonds? If we can get three out of three here in diamonds, like, that will just be epic. Because we're still in the same cave system. Okay, yeah, I think our luck has definitely run out. That's absolutely fine. We'll, we'll deal with that. Oh, let's go. We... <laughs> I can't believe that's just happened. How many we got? Oh, let us go. I will not say no to this. This is just what we need, and hurry up because I feel like there's a creeper behind me. Okay, that is that is actually quite perfect, you know, because we can now already get a diamond chest plate, which is going to be our priority. There we go. Diamond chest plate at the ready. I think the rate we're going at the minute is perfect. I think we can actually just keep finding diamonds. Okay, you know what? To say that we've got diamonds already and we've got a full set of iron armor, we've not even made a diamond pickaxe yet, which is definitely overdue. I think it's time we uh, end off this episode. Uh, so I am trialing this as a brand new series. If this does well and it's in high demand, I will make sure to keep posting these on my channel. But until then, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks and goodbye.